The bottom line there is there's simply no evidence, despite what everyone sees in the news, uh, in, the, in the papers, it's only anecdotes, meaning, okay, this person started smoking, this person took an extract, and their seizure stopped. Now, that can happen spontaneously. Um, it can be unrelated. We, we know that from other therapies, not only in epilepsy. So it hasn't been subjected to rigorous trials. Uh, the other complicating factor about medical marijuana is it's a very, very dirty drug. You know, you get a joint, whether it's from the corner or from the medical marijuana, or it's, it's a brownie, whatever you get, um, there are dozens of active compounds in there. So even if one of them, or even more than one of them, is effective for epilepsy, uh, you, you're giving all this other stuff which may have side effects. You know, going high through life may not be the best way to do it, even if you don't have seizures. Uh, but also it's impossible to dose it when you're talking about a dispensary or you know, getting it from some other source. We talked a little bit about seizure prediction devices. I think this is something that could be helpful in the future, but we don't have now. There was a small trial of a very elegant device that was actually implanted in about 15 people. So you could get real-time brain recordings. And you know, obviously, these were very difficult to control patients who were willing to go through this. And so they could record their seizures, design a way to predict them from the electrical patterns, and then in the subsequent phase, you know, issue a warning to the patient. And you know, in a lot of those patients, it seemed to work. Now, this is not a practical solution, but it's a concept. You know, the more practical things that are in development now are external devices. They may measure movement, for instance. Uh, some of them measure heart rate. There are a lot of things you can measure that are related to seizures. Movement, obviously, you know, I could go like this, and is, does, does the device know that's a seizure, or am I just going like this? Um, but there may be, you know, complicated algorithms to be able to predict or at least warn when somebody's having a seizure. Could be helpful to some people. Now, if we had a good seizure prediction device, and this, in this case, it did warn them, you know, 10 to 30 minutes beforehand. So you can get to a safe place. Uh, you can excuse yourself from the filming that you're in the middle of. Uh, you can, you know, go out of your office. Or perhaps most importantly, you might be able to take an acute rescue medicine to prevent the seizure altogether if you knew exactly when it was going to happen.